Good day, grade 10. Mrs. Valiahos here. This is explanation for module in science 10, week number 7. The title of module number 7, Possible Causes of Plate Movement. What's the objectives of this self-learning kit that you just received? First, you'll be able to describe the internal structure of the earth. Second, explain how geologists learned about the structure of the earth. Third, discuss the effect of the different characteristics of the layers of the earth to its surface. And lastly, you'll be able to describe the possible causes of the motion of the lithospheric plates. The module begins with a pre-test. It's a 10 item. The letters of the answers are given, but they are in random order. There is a clue. For example, number one, it is a type of wave or seismic wave, the fastest wave created by an earthquake, and it travels through the Earth's interior and can pass through both solid and molten rock. So there are six letters in the given choice or word. So what is the correct word there? There are 10 items for you to uh, unlock. Then there are five activities in the module. So far, this is the module with the most activities. For module number one until module number six, you only have to answer up to three activities. But for this module, there are five activities. The first module, it is entitled, Allow Me Not. There is a picture there, and it is a picture of the path of a seismic wave as it travels through the, sur the earth uh, from the surface to its interior. If you can see the picture there, the earthquake originated from this position right here. This is the epicenter of the earthquake. And then, Seismic waves travel in all direction. In this diagram, there are two seismic waves, P waves and S waves. P waves, you already know this, they are the primary waves. They are the fastest moving waves. They arrive at seismographs or seismic stations first, and they are followed by the S waves or the secondary waves. Notice that the P waves and the S waves, they travel in all direction. So from this epicenter, the black arrow, they represent the P waves. It reaches this seismic station here. Another seismic station reach is this one station. And then still another, Deha. And then it passes through the inner layers of the earth, passing through this inner core and the outer core. Ug mulusot diha si P wave, hantun maabot siya dito sa opposite side of the earth. Still, another another uh, reaches another seismic station in this location. And still another diha. But notice that the red arrows, or the red, uh, yes, arrows, they are only in this place here. This represents the S waves. You cannot see any red arrows going to this side here. So, kaninga part dari gitawag tani siya o shadow zone. Nanong shadow zone siya? Wala may maabot diha nga S waves. No S waves reach this side here. That's the shadow zone. Only the P waves reach that area. So, that's what we call as a shadow zone. So, there is a characteristic the eye in the middle of the earth. Nga nung di man kaagi si S waves. Nga si P waves raman ang makalusot. And then there are questions that you need to answer for this activity. Second activity is entitled Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is still picture analysis. You are given the diagram of the earth. It is round. And then the layers, there are four mentioned layers here. The crust, the second layer, the mantle, the third layer, the outer core, and the last layer, innermost, is the inner core. 
What is the phase of the different layers of the earth? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? You just simply have to write your answers in the table. So, asa ninyo makita ng answers? Still in the diagram. As you can see, what is the phase of the crust? It is written here. It is solid. What about the mantle? It is plastic. What about uh, the outer core? It is liquid. What about the inner core? It is solid. So, the mantle, when we say plastic, it is molten rock. Solid man dapat ang rock, but then because of its very hot na material, na mo siyang lanay. Masyag chocolate na lanay. So, is that solid or is that liquid? Elements found. Naaragi hapon diri. In the crust, there is iron, calcium, hydrogen, aluminum, silicon. In the mantle, the orange, uh, napagiday, oxygen, sodium, potassium. Then, there is a mantle sa orange na layer. Nadihay magnesium, iron, aluminum, silicon, oxygen. There is the outer core. There are two elements found, iron and nickel. In the inner core, two elements lang gihapon, iron and nickel steel. And then, naatay gipangutan na dihang temperature. So, nagihapon sa diagram, what's the temperature of the crust? It's 0 degrees Celsius. What's the temperature of the mantle? It is 3,700 degrees Celsius. What's the temperature of the outer core? Where is it? Where is it? It's 4,300 degrees Celsius. Same the outer core or the inner core. Next activity. It is entitled, Go the Distance. You will simply have to study the illustrations and then you answer several guide questions that follow. So as you can see in the illustration, these are during the different era of the earth or epoch. Na the Permian na era, the Jurassic era, and the present day era. These are maps. So during the Permian era, makita ninyo ang mga continents. They are just one big compact continent. During the Jurassic period, you can see or notice na nagkanam-anam sila o kabuwag ang continents. And then, during today, the present day, you can see that these continents are totally separated from each other. Huwag na na diyan makita si North American continent, South America, African continent, the Asian continent, Australia, and the Antarctica continent. Next activity is activity number four. It is entitled... Rebuild it. You reconstruct Pangea. You make your own sketch on how you see Pangea 250 million years ago. Mom, isn't si Pangea? If you read through the module, you will know that Pangea is the name of the supercontinent that we once had during the Permian era. Atong tibuok pa ang yuta, nagsumpay-sumpay pa. Igo na ni Mulakawon, makaadong sa kayo sa Kenan, makaadto na ka sa America, Australia. Sumpay pa sila. So, yun siyang i-drawing diha, Pangea. Next, activity number five. It is entitled, Down Under. This illustration show the processes that occur in the interior and the exterior of the earth. Based on the picture, you are to answer guide questions. So, naad kay di hay makita ang mga nagtuyok-tuyok di hang arrows. Unsa man di ay ni sila. Later on in this video, you will know what process drives the plates to be moving on the surface of the earth. Unsa man di ning naasa yung suod. Ganong kusgan man kay siya o maka irog man siya sa gahi kay ng mga bato nga na as a crust. And then, the last part of this module, you will answer the post assessment consists of two parts. First, you are going to arrange the events in the order that they happen. So, kanay mo isuwat diha sa diagram. And the second part is uh, multiple choice items, 10 items for that matter. So, I will now start with the discussion so that you will have a more thorough understanding of module number 7. So, I will begin with my discussion on the Earth's interior. 
the surface of the earth, our experiences with earth is only limited to its surface. Why? We have not yet traveled down under. Kana mga drilling, mga minahan, kana ato ang mga drilling explorations para mulusot ta from one point of the earth at sa pika's end kay because the earth is circle. We have not been able to do that. Wala pa magalit na katugkad sa kinalauman nga ocean sa tibuok kalibutan. So, our experiences with the planet is only limited to its surface. Yet, we know that the earth is made up of layers. And it has a complicated interior. Gim sa mga na paghibaw. You will know later on through as we progress through the video. Earth is characterized first by an internally generated magnetic field. The Earth is a giant magnet. Ano ganon ang magnet? A magnet is a material that attracts um, other mag uh, materials, magnetic materials. So the earth is a magnet. It is it has a layered interior and the layers are either solid or liquid in their face. And it is covered by gas. Ang tawag na to aning gaseous envelope sa earth, we call it as the atmosphere. What are the five key characteristics about the earth's surface? Una nga characteristic, the earth has a dipole magnetic field. Ngayon ka itag dipole, di, duha. Duha iyang polarity sa iyang magnet. Ang magnet, it has a north pole and a south pole. So the earth, because it is a magnet, it is also dipolar. It deflects solar wind and protects the earth from the solar radiation. Solar wind, hangin nga gikan sa sun. Makasunog, it contains too much UV radiation. Kung wala pa tay magnetic field, dili na niya ma that deflect. So, musod na diri sa earth and burning everything, all forms of life within the surface of the earth. Second, the earth has a stratified atmosphere, mainly composed of two elements, nitrogen and oxygen. Stratified na sa chai layers. Stratosphere, ang sa Mesosphere, there are five layers also of the atmosphere. Third characteristic of the earth, it's made up of a variety of minerals, glasses, metals, fluids, volatiles, all left during the birth of the solar system. Fourth, the earth has layers. It has a very thin silicate crust, mostly made up of silicon. It has a thick Iron and magnesium silicate mantle. So, ang nasa mantle, it is mostly iron, magnesium, silicon, oxygen. And a thick metallic core. Metal. Duhara to kaklasi ang elements nga nagcompose sa ato ang core. Just iron and nickel. Both of them are metals. And it can be physically divided into the outer lithosphere and a plastic or humukon nga as senosphere. So, the earth being a magnetic field is just like a bar magnet. Kanang gahi nga magnet ba nga rectangle? Mura rasa nag ingon ana si earth. Na siya north pole, na sa siya south pole. So, na siya north na polarity, na sa siya south nga polarity. Just like a regular magnet. Solar winds contain electromagnetic particles. Kanang solar wind coming from the sun. They are deflected. Gipalayo or gipahawa by our Earth's magnetic field. So, yung anani siya kung atong i-visualize ang magnetic field sa Earth. So, all the radiation coming from outside, mainly coming from our sun, dili na maka-penetrate mostly sa planet Earth because of our magnetic um, nature. Nya na na gitawag o Van Allen Belt. This is named after a scientist whose last name is Van Allen. These are two belts in the inner magnetic field where high-energy cosmic rays are trapped. 
it protects us from solar radiation. Ano na yung musun ng solar radiation? We develop all kinds of cancer. Radiation ba ang cause sa cancer? So, kung manood na din solar radiation, uh, solar wind from the sun, kitang tanan diri mga sakit na ta o cancer. We all die. That's what radiation do to our body. It kills our cells. And uh, the cells that are damaged, they, are becoming, they become cancerous cells. The layered earth. We now know that the earth has the layers. What are these layers? We have the crust, the mantle, and the core. Tulo sila kabuok. Pero naman siyang upat kay na may outer core o inner core. Gag separate si outer or inner core. So, through diagram and artist visualizations, makakita ta, bisag wala, di yun na na to makita. Because we are only a very tiny speck on the surface of the earth. Naidaghang mga visualization how the earth's layers look like. In the crust, there are two types of crust. One is called the continental crust, and the other is called the oceanic crust. It's important to know the difference between the two because they gives us the difference between the tectonic plates. Na may tectonic plates na continental in nature, na may tectonic plates na oceanic. Na continental plates are thicker, and the oceanic plates are very thin. The second layer of the earth, na si mantle, na po siya upper nga level sa mantle, na sa siya lower level sa mantle. The mantle is the thickest layer, thickest ba siya? Of the earth. And then, the last part, the core, there is the outer liquid core and the inner solid core. Ang magnet gud sa earth, to agil sa iyang inner core. Mura siya metal gud siya nga gahi, tibuok, lingin, baga kayo. Yeah, it is solid iron and solid nickel. The crust. It is called the skin of the earth. It is the outermost layer of the earth. So, naa siya'y baga nga part, especially kung nga mga mountain ranges. O niya, naa siya'y nipis nga part, especially kanang naa sa mga ocean ridges. Next, if you see the picture here, si oceanic crust ka ni siyang color gray, ni peace lagi na siya. Nanada yun sa babaw niya na ay tubig, na ay ocean. Si continental crust, baga food kaayos siya. Dara si continental crust. Ikan diri ani nga part, padung diri sa ubus, ka na siya tanan. Continental crust na siya. It is baga, pero it is less dense. Minang gitag density, it is the amount of matter or mass for a given area, or uh, not area, volume, gidak on. So, bisag dako siya, wasay, uh, gamay yang density kay, dili kay siya dasok. Si oceanic crust, dasok kaayo siya. Then, we have here what we call as the Mohorovicic discontinuity, or simply called moho. Ani si Mohorovicic, it is a scientist, apelido na niya. Naingon siya nga sa dili pa mo abot, si, dili pa mo sumpay, si mantol gika ni crust sa babaw, na pa nagamay kay nga layer diha. Ang tawag ana, moho. Discontinuity. It separates the crust from the mantle. Siya nag-separate ni crust from the upper mantle. It is discovered in 1909 by the Russian scientist Andreha Mohorovicic. It marks the change in the velocity of seismic P waves. Ngano ni nakaingon man si Mohorovicic na na ay moho discontinuity kay mukong muagi na diha si P waves mo usab yang gikusgon nga man lain na magmaterya si crust lain na sa magmaterya si mantle so mohinay ang iyang velocity nag gikan siya ni crust nga muagi siya ni mantle murag tawo di ba kung kusog ta mo dagan sa yuta inig ato tag dagat tiba bisa kung sa panato hinay taglihok so pareha ra sad ana ang mga seismic waves kung muagi sila lain lain nga classing a material through the Earth's layers. Two types of crust, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. The continental crust is felsic in composition. So, meaning, anong felsic? Um, 
daghan siya o uh, iron. Rock type niya is granite. Oceanic crust, crust just beneath the oceans. It is mafic in composition. The rock type is basalt, meaning less sea of iron. There's a difference between the two. Crustal density controls surface position. The continental crust is less dense and it floats higher. The oceanic crust is more dense and it floats lower. So based on this visualization, kung itimbang pa na to, si granite, which is the rock type of continental crust, gaan siya kaysa ni basalt, which is the rock type of oceanic crust. Let's go now to the second innermost layer of the earth, the mantle. It is the solid lock layer between the earth and the core. Solid ay siya kung ano kayo? Hmm, solid ay siya. It is 2,885 kilometers thick and it composes 82% of the Earth's volume. Siya lagi ang pinakabaga, pinadakaan nga layer sa Earth. It is ultramafic rock called peridotite ang ihang composition. Below 100 to 150 kilometers, the solid rock of the mantle is hot enough to flow. So, muna siyang chocolate na lanay, pero solid ato ang composition na ang paano solid din ang chocolate no pero lanay siya it convex ano sa meaning anang convex convection is a phenomenon where the hot material will rise up and the cold material will sink just like what happens when we install aircon in our kwarto aircon sa so, buhaton sa aircon ang hot air yang ipasaka nya yang cold air kay yang ipa Ubus. So, ang aircon ay install na siya babog na sa part sa kwarto. Kay hot air will rise and cold air will sink down. Kung imang aircon na sa imang tiilan, ang i-rise ang naniya diha, dili ka makafeel sa ihang kabugnaw. It also happens, convection also happens through liquids, just like in the oceans. Nay convection current sa siya oceans. Nay pwar sa oceans nga init ang tubig Nasa part diha nga, bugna ang tubig. Magtuyok, musaka ang hot nga material, the hot water, and then the cold water will sink in. Siya magtuyok-tuyok. Na ay subdivisions ang mantle. Na ay very top upper mantle. Nasa siya ay very nipis na transition so on the, the lower mantle. Pero most books you can see or mga sources, duhara ihang pangalan, upper mantle ra o lower mantle. And then, the inner core of the earth. The inner core of the earth is the reason why we are a magnet. It is composed of iron. It is spherical, lingin, with a radius of 3,471 kilometers. It has two components with differing seismic wave behavior. The outer core, it is liquid. Ang iron dito, o gihang nikil tungod sa kainit, is liquid. Nga ang inner core na to, gahi, solid, solid nga ay metal. Solid iron, solid nickel alloy. It has a radius of 1,200 kilometers. Si outer core, 2,200 kilometers. So, mas baga si outer core kaysa ni inner core. The flow in the outer core generates the magnetic field of the Earth. So, sila, si outer core o si inner core ang nakaproduce sa magnetism sa planet Earth. Now, na yung mga, sige na ninyo at kasugatan yung word nga, lithosphere o nasa mention sa module of asthenosphere. What's the difference between the two? The lithosphere is the brittle portion of the Earth's interior. It behaves as a non-flowing rigid materials. It is the material that moves as tectonic plates, the lithosphere. Combination of oceanic crust and a very small portion of the upper mantle. It is composed of two components, the crust and the upper mantle. They move as one. Mauna siyang mga ipantawag na to, mga tectonic plates. Now, na portion nila nga asthenosphere 
Ubus pagyud kaayo siya ni lettosphere. Unsa man dani sa asthenosphere? It is the ductile portion of the Earth's interior. May mga tag ductile. Um, solid siya pero mura siya plastic. Mo flow siya. Mura siya liquid. Mo flow siya. It is shallower under the oceanic lithosphere and deeper under continental lithosphere. So, it contains a small percentage of melt. So, humok siya. Ductile siya nga solid. Na nung nahumok man siya kay init ba yasad kayo ang lower mantle. Mara siya naluto. So, siya ay marag chocolate nga na initan, malanay. So, mauna siya si asthenosphere. Niya si lithosphere, mara siya chocolate nga gisod o gref kay gahi. Niya, yeah, brittle. Dali, maligti. Ginsa man sa mga scientists, pagkahibaw, nga na ay mga lain-lain nga layers of the earth, kahibaw lagi sila sa mga composition, sa mga elements nga nag-compose ang mga layers sa earth, nga wak pong mga ganit na discover sa ato ang tibuok crust, wak pong natakatugkad sa ato ang ocean, nga nabay na sa ilaw ng ocean, si oceanic crust, wak pong mga ganit na natugkad, si mantle na noon, si outer core na noon, o si inner core. Ginsa man ni mas sa mga scientists, How did scientists know the layers of the earth? They know about the layers of the earth by studying seismic waves. So, getting seismic waves. Seismic waves are the waves generated when an earthquake occurs. In fact, it travels throughout the entire earth. So, wala sila ni adto sa ilaw, wala sila ni explore dito. They simply Um, analyze the data from seismic stations. Diba, lalain o gikusgon si P waves o si S waves. So, diha nila gianalyze nga, nga nung naiubang P waves nga mulusot padong sa pitas end of the earth. Nga nung mga S waves daily man. Nga ilan na yung ipang kuan, different seismic stations, lalain o time of arrival of P and S waves. Gikulita ng data o may bawaan na yun, na in, in fear na yun ta. We made a hypothesis mo dahil ni kailan lang hindi ay layers ang earth, lang lang composition ang layers sa earth. Na ay solid na gahi, na ay solid na ductile, na ay liquid, na ay nasa ay metallic. If there is an earthquake somewhere, seismographs in many locations will record it. By looking at the time of the arrival of the main set of waves and how the frequent, unsaka frequent, how the frequencies of the waves are arranged within the set, scientists can learn ilang hibawan ang density, thickness, composition, and the overall properties of the layers underneath our feet. When scientists studied the rate at which seismic waves travel through the Earth, we find that 33% of the earth is made up of iron metal and the remaining portion is made up of silicate oxide or rocks. So, sa ganit ng seismic waves, ang seismic waves, they are waves that are generated as a result of an earthquake. Nay duha ka klase nga seismic waves. Una, body waves. Unsa man ang body waves? They travel through the body of the earth. Tibuok earth gin siya mo travel from crust, mantle, outer, inner. Nya duha siya ka klase. Ang una, si P waves, si primary waves, the fastest of all waves. Ikaduha, si S waves or si secondary wave. Ang sec ikaduha na maabot na waves, secondary. Sunod, another kind of wave is called The surface wave. Surface na aragin siya sa crust magsuri-suri. Sa rock aragin siya or sa solid na siya pwede mo, mo travel. And na siya duha ka klase named after the scientists that discovered the, their motion. Una, love waves. Apelido ni sa usa ka scientist nga nakadiscover ani nga klase nga surface wave. Ikaduha, Rayleigh wave. Apelido sa ni sa scientist nga nakadiscover ani nga klase nga seismic wave. Let's start. Uh, ato silang tagsa-tagsaon. P wave. The primary body wave. Again, duha ka klase nga seismic waves. Body waves o surface waves. Magsugod ta ni body waves. Duha siya ka klase po. Una P wave or the primary wave. It is the first seismic wave that is detected by seismographs. 
it is able to move through liquid and solid. So, ang um, composition ra ba sa earth, either liquid or solid ra, ang layer sa makalusot siya tanan. Makalusot siya sa crust, sa mantle, sa outer core, o sa inner core. Si T, waves. Yang movement pa straight ra, compression, compressional wave, ang laing pa nga ni P, wave. Next, S, wave. Ang panganiya, long panganiya is secondary body waves. Or, another name for it is a shear wave. Another name ni, ni S wave. Shear. S-H-E-A-R. Shear waves. It travels slower than P waves. And it does not pass through liquid. Di siya makalusot ni liquid. Iyang movement magod side to side. Liquids like water, molten rock, and the earth's outer core. Ang ipasabot ani nga molten rock dere is the mantle, di ba? Na may part si mantle nga molten. Ang yahang lower mantle is molten. Katong murag chocolate nga lanay. Di kalusot din to si S waves. At siya makalusot ni lithosphere. A proportion ni mantle photographia. So, ang movement is perpendicular. Kung padong siya dito straight, mag-move siya to the side and to the side. Masyag bitin magdagan. Anayahang dagan. Pero padong siya dito straight. Let's go now to the surface waves. These types of waves causes damage to the property, mga buildings. First, Rayleigh wave. This type of surface wave moves in an elliptical motion, producing both horizontal and vertical component of motion that is the direction of propagation. Mura siya o up and down. Mana ang yuta. Saka up and down, up and down. Mag-elliptical siya. So, mura siya naghiyod-hiyod ang yuta. Ang ending nga na dali sa surface na ipart nga ay nag-abot siya. Musaka, mubos. Musaka, mubos. Musaka, mubos. Musaka, mubos. Next, love wave. It is a type of surface wave that moves parallel to the Earth's surface and perpendicular to the motion of wave propagation. Murag hapon ni siya secondary wave, si love wave. Yang i-move ang yuta. Dito to the side, dere to the side, dito na sad. Kani si love waves, this is a combination of several S waves na na-amplify, daghan kay nga S waves. Now, let us go to the discovery by a scientist in the year 1912, and he named it the Continental Drift Theory. There was a German scientist by the name of Alfred Wegener. Wegener. He proposed in the year 1912 his theory, and he called his theory CDT, or Continental Drift Theory. Ang sayang bot, pasabot sayang theory. Nang drift ko no ang continents, meaning nagkaanam ka move ang theory. He said that about 200 million years ago, the continents were one large landmass. Tibuok mga 200 million years ago. And iyan gipanganlan ka nga continent. Ang gitawag niya ani nga continent, he called it as Pangea. Greek for the word all earth. So, during those, that era, tibuok ang yuta, sumpay. Itawag nyo niya og Pangea. Na na siya present ng mga evidence, lima kabuok evidence for his theory. During the Permian period, that's around 250 million years ago, ingunani ko nung ang map of the world, sumpay, tanan, nga, continents. O gitawag ni ni Vaginer of continent na Pangea. Oh, makita ninyo na pa na siya diha. Tibuok pa na siya. It's one giant land mass. Around 200 million years ago, tagitawag ta na og Triassic era or period, nibuak into two large land mass si Pangea. Ang upper part gitawag og Laurasia. Ang lower part gitawag og Guan, uh, Gondwana. So, gikan ni Pangea na himong duha kabtibuok. Laurasia ang nasbabaw, si Gondwana ang nasa ubos. 
During the Jurassic period, 145 million years ago, nabuak na dyan siya totally na gagmay-gagmay na dyan si, si Laurecia sa babaw. Makita na ni mo nga nag-separate na sila dyan sa babaw na nasa North America, si Siberia, nilain na sila. Then, during the Cretaceous period, around 65 million years ago, nagkanam na dyan kalayo ang pagkabuak-buak nila ng mga continents. And during today, the present day, Mauna na ato ang current map of the world. Mauna na ang gistadihan na to sa Araling Panlipunan o sa Hiyogapia. Mauna ang mapa ng atong gistadihan. So, mauna na siya. Nanay dako kayo ng mga tubig na nag-separate ni United States of America dahil na diha si Pacific Ocean o sa dayon si uh, Eurasian Continent. Sa pika-side sa New United States of America, nadiha si Atlantic Ocean. Then sa usa pa si Asia, si Europe and Africa nga continent. So kung drawing on siya, mao na siya ang nahitabo. Tibuok pa siya 250 million years ago, panjaya ang tawag. Dayon during the Triassic period, nabuak into two na imong Laurasia o Gondwana. And then during the Jurassic and the Cretaceous and to the present day, nagkanamgin sila kalayo. Ngayon mo na siya karong pito ka major continents. Si Wegener, pagsulti niya, ni wala na noo ang mga tao sa iya ha. So, kung ikaw sa time ni Wegener, that's the early 1900s, 1912, motuo ba sa kaha ka niya? Nasa siya gipresent nga mga ebidensya. Pero di siya ka-explain nga no, huwag na unsa. So, ang mga tao, the scientific community, did not actually believed him 100%. Mauna ang mga ebidensya ang nagihatag ni Alfred Wegener to prove his continental drift theory. Una, the apparent fit of the edges of the continent. Naya na siya, nga bisag ridwan nga bata, makakita agay sa mapa sa world karon makakuan siya nga ang pagka-jagged sa edges sa North America, mura siya o kung itapad siya sa edge ni Asia, ani um, sa may sumpay niya to the other side, ni Europe, sumpay siya. Si South America o si Africa, mura rin sila perfect fit. Ikaduha nga, ebidensya nga, gimension ni Wegener, Wegener, the distribution of the same fossils in different continents. Mga fossils, they are the remains nga wala na dugta, uh, wala na unsa na preserved. Nga no kunong na ay mga fossils sa usa ka klase nga hayop nga makita sa Amerika, unya mulabang din ang hayop sa lapad gayo nga Atlantic Ocean nga makita man gihapon sa siya didto sa Europe nga ukayan sad. Ana ba? So, possibly jud nga tibuok pa sa una nagtapad pa na sila gudiha niya dayon nakatipak-tipak may separate ang species next the features of rocks niya na si Alfred Wegener nga naay pareha nga rocks kanang naay mga layer layer nga naa sa ani nga continent niya pareha pud sa pika sa continent niya kung gi-separate sila og lan nga nagutang nagkapareha man sila lan line with weather and climate in different areas so na siya sa una sumpay gina sila natipak lang Then, fourth niya nga evidence is called the coal deposits. Coal. Sa una, wala pa ang kurinti ang gigamit nila sa una. Coal, to run automotives, trains, our locomotives. Kanang mura siya, og uling, coal. It's a deposit in the uh, rock. Minaho na siya ni Seven Dwarfs. Gani mo, trabaho sa Seven Dwarfs ni Snow White. Nagmina sila og coal. Nga na siya locations on planet Earth, pero nga dapat walay coal dito kay Bugnao, pero nga nung na may coal. So, buto sa buto, sa una dito na sa init nga kuan ka na ang continent. Ancient climates. Kaning nga mga evidences, mauna siya ang discussion sa module number 8. So, ma-discuss ma na ni further in module number 8. So, dari na ang pangutana. Ang saman di ay rason, nga nung mo-move ang plates. Mauni ang pangutan na nga wala na tubag ni 
Alfred Wegener. Nato siya ibidin siya, nga na siya nga nimlihok lagi ang mga continents. Pero sa yahang time, wala pa new technologies, wala pa siya ka-prove nga nung nilihok. Mutong wala siya tuhui sa mga tao. Pero karon na namtay new technology, na-prove na gina nga tinuod yun ay ang isulti ni Wegener. Pero ano, namatay na si Wegener, usap pa ta ni Tuo niya. So, on sa man ay ang rason nga nung mulihok ang mga lithospheric plates. The answer to that, ladies and gentlemen, is called convection currents. Geologists hypothesize that the movement of lithospheric plates or tectonic plates is related to convection current in the mantle of the earth. What is a convection current? It is just simply the rising, the spreading, the sinking of gas, liquid, or molten material caused by the application of heat. Remember, the outer core is very, very hot. The inner core is very, very hot. Si mantol, nga siya sunod nga layer sa outer sa inner core, ang ihang gahi dapat solid nga material. Munang hemong molten material, hemong magma. Tungod sa kainit, mura siya giluto. Lugaw siya ang giluto. So, tungod kay na may application of heat, there is movement, rising and sinking of the molten material. Ang ma-abot ma ito sa pinakaubos nga part, kinadulaan sa inner core, kay init man kay siya, mangita siya ka escapean, musaka siya. Ikabot niya dito sa may upper mantle, mubog na man siya. Na because of convection, anything that is cold will go down. Musink na siya, balik, inig-sink niya, Uh, may go na sad siya sa kalayo dito, sa kainit dito, sa inner core. Musaka na sad siya. And the cycle continues. It is a never-ending cycle. So this video is a video of visualization of the convection current that happens in the mantle. It happens because hot rock rises, heated by the Earth's core. Near the surface, the rock spreads in two directions and goes sideways. It begins to lose heat. Eventually, the much cooler rock sinks back down. Through this spreading process, the Earth's crust is very slowly dragged apart. And it's this that ultimately causes the continents to move. Where the plates collide, the rock on the seafloor containing carbon from the dead plankton is carried deep into the earth. As it descends, this layer of rock is heated, so the rock melts, releasing carbon dioxide. And gas is returned back into the atmosphere during an eruption. It's complete. Okay. So, mato ang convection currents. That's the reason why continents or the tectonic plates move. Pero sa time ni Alfred Wegener, wala pa siya na kaibaw. Kinsa may mga scientist ang nakabak up sa continental drift theory ni Wegener. There are two scientists who created what we call as the seafloor spreading theory. Pero they already came up with their theory in the 1960s. So wala na, namatay na si Alfred Wegener. Usa pa na back-upan ng iyang theory. And this back-up theory is called the seafloor spreading theory. In the early 1960s, these two scientists, Harry Hess and Robert Deitz, suggested an explanation to the continental drift that was presented by Wegener in the year 1912, and they called their theory Seafloor Spreading Theory. According to the Seafloor Spreading Theory, ang hot na less dense material from below the Earth's crust that is in the mantle, it will rise towards the surface. Mugawas siya pa doong sa surface. Asa man siya mugawas through the mid-ocean ridges. Asa gani si mid-ocean ridges? Na siya ilaw sa ocean. Pinakanipis siya nga part sa oceanic um, crust. 
Kung ang duha ka mga oceanic plates mag-diverge, magbuwag, ang tunga nila maka-develop na og crack diha or fissure. And that crack we call it as the mid-ocean ridge. Kaya na may crack, of course, at tumulusot si magma. This material will flow to the sides. Mulusot pababaw si magma. Dayon, mo mo cool naman siya kaya na may tubig ba ma ma ma, ma, ma bugnaw siya so ma deposit siya dito dayon it will move to the side it is carried away from the ridge nanong ma move man siya to the side nanam ko ilaing magmanga mo gawas mairog niya ang naasa sa naguna sa babaw mairog niya ang mapabutang sa kilid ma sideways mairog irog niya kada nayon yung magmanga mo gawas ang katong old mairog to the sideways subot pa subot Ang yuta nga kinadulan sa mid-oceanic ridge, that's the newest land, kinabaguan, youngest land. Ang yuta nga kinalayan sa mid-oceanic ridge, mo ito'y kinatigwangan nga yuta, kaya nairug naman to siya. Here, if this is the mid-ocean ridge here, dire mo gawa si magma, it rises up because of the process of convection. Inigrise up niya diha, madeposit siya. Dahil yun, mairug siya sideways on both sides, to the left and to the right. Kinsa may makapairog niya, new magma rasad. So, kada na ay new magma nga musaka, kada na ay bagong magma di ang musaka sa mid-ocean ridge, ang katong magma nga na sa sa kilid, pareha na silag edad nga yuta, kaya nadunga na sila gawas, yung iirog, mairog niya to the side, ganipun, mairog niya to the side. Still, na na po'y bagong nga magma nga mugawas, so, kani si Red, maari na ni siya daring lugar. Kani nga klase nga yuta, mairog siya. Niya. Kaning lugar ni Red, ang nakanda nila, kani ng yuta nga butang tag color yellow. Iyang masapawan, nila po. Kinsa naman tayo na adari sa tunga, ang kinabago ang yuta nga ni Gawas. Si color green. Ang sayot na niya akong drawing. Kaning nasa side, din si green, red na niya siya. Siya may kinatiguangan di ang ayuta. It is the oldest rock. Nang sunod niya nga tapad katong yellow. Nang newest nga nigawas. O, oh, kanil si green. Ay, green. Masagot pa sabot. Kada naibag umugawas nga magma, mairog niya to the sides. Dungan to the other sides ang yuta. So, mo ito, purma bagong yuta. As you move away from the ridge, if the ridge is there here in the middle, ang kinalayan nga yuta, nga naadiring na pita, mo'y kinatiguangan nga yuta, the report sa pikas. It is the oldest rock. Ang kinadulan diri sa ridge, that's the newest rock. Kaya mo siya kinabago ang magma nga ni Gawas. In the place where two oceanic plates collide or when an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide natay gitawag og mga subduction zones a subduction zone is katong si oceanic plate mo subduct or mo go under ni ni continental plate during their convergence so didto masudog balik si yuta padung ni mantol nya Ang yuta, ah, ang ma molten magma, mangita na po siya o kagawasan, kay init ka siya dito sa ilaw, mangita na po siya o mid-oceanic ridge. Katong divergence between two oceanic plates, magawas na siya dito. And the cycle continues. So, as the new seafloor is formed at the mid-oceanic ridge, the old seafloor, far less kinalay ang gikan sa ridge, will be destroyed at the subduction zones. Sumpay. The rate of formation of new seafloor is not always as fast as the destruction of the old seafloor in the subduction zone. So, kung ang subduction kay mas paspas, ang pag-converge, itus unahan ay nag-converge, nagbangga si continental o si oceanic plate, dinay mo subduct si oceanic plate, na ayuta rito nga mapailang. Kung paspas kay ang pag-subduct, kay kusog ang rate of convergence. Dahil yun, ang seafloor pwede yung diris unahan, Hinay ang paggawas ni magma, hinay ang pagporma of new yuta, what happens to the ocean? The ocean will shrink. Kung ang seafloor spreading kay paspas kaayo kaysa sa subduction, when seafloor spreading is greater than subduction, paspas ang paggawas ni magma at the mid-ocean ridge. Pero hinay dito ang pagkaon dito, paglamon dito ni 
sa convergence hinay ang pagsabdak dito ni oceanic floor padung sa ilaw unsay mahitabo sa ocean the ocean gets wider there is a theory today by scientists that the atlantic ocean kanang ocean tunga tunga ni america ug ni europe the atlantic ocean kuno is getting bigger but pasabot ana paspas ang paggawas og magma through the mid atlantic ridge kaysa sa pagkaon sa mga trench kung na siya mga trench kay gamay ra kay trench ang atlantic ridge ang naidog og trench na diri sa sa oceanic ocean eh pacific, ah, pacific ocean so ang subduction na hitabo diri sa pacific ocean ang sea floor spreading na hitabo sa mid atlantic ridge nya kay nagka white man ang mid atlantic ridge ridge so meaning hinay ang pagsabdak the rate of subduction is um slower than the rate of the sea floor spreading unsay mga ebidensya ni Hess og ni Dites sa ilahang sea floor spreading una evidence from molten material in the year 1960 scientists found evidence that new material is indeed erupting along the mid oceanic ridges the scientists dived into the ocean floor in a submarine ang pangan sa submarine Alvin Nanong pag 1960s pa man, kay pag 1960s pa man, inguso ang submarine. Katong pag Cold War between Europe, ay, between Russia and America. Pila binakatuig na nag-Cold War sa Russia at America. Alto sila sa ilam sa dagat, mag-inawayay, magsisilag nilabayay dito mga torpedo from their submarine, at to sa submarine sa Picas. So, pag 1960s, wala tutuyo ni Hess o ni Dites nga, ilahang ma- discover ang sea floor spreading ang role gud to nila ilahang um ilahang tan-awon dito sa ilawom asa nagpuyo nang asa nagipamutang ng mga submarine sa kontra nila nga Russia unya sa ilang pag pagdive dito ilang nakita ang mga um ocean features underground so kay scientists mo sila ilan lang sang gisabin o tuon So in the ridge central valley the crew of the submarine Alvin found strange rocks shaped like pillows or toothpaste squeezed from a tube mga nagbugdugdug both on both sides pareha terno such rocks only form when the molten material hardens quickly after erupting underwater these rocks show that molten material has erupted again and again along the mid ocean ridge ikaduha nga ebidensya Evidence from magnetic stripes. When scientists studied the patterns of the rocks in the ocean floor in the mid-Atlantic Ocean, they found more support for sea floor spreading. You have known earlier that the Earth behaves like a giant magnet with a North Pole and a South Pole. Surprisingly, na reversal, the Earth's magnetic poles reverse themselves many times, many times during the Earth's history. The last reversal was around 718 years ago. Ah, 780,000 years ago. If the magnetic poles suddenly reverse themselves today, you will find that your compass needle points south. Some scientists discovered that rocks made up the ocean floor lies in the pattern of magnetic stripes. Dara, imunani. Imunani lang nakita along the ocean floor. Um, nagsakay sila o mga barko niya nagdada silang kompas niya na part sa ocean nga ang north pole sa kompas like for example at to mo point in next part sa ocean ang north pole sa kompas at to mo point sa next part na sad ang north pole sa kompas at to na sad mo point a kompas is a magnet A magnet is attracted with another magnet. So, mauna'y forma ni, mauna'y purpose ni kumpas. Nanayana sila nga, ang nasa to nga, mid-oceanic ridge, terno ang both sides. Kung kani nga part diri, yahang, yahang polarity kay Padong, ana ang polarity sa pika side, ana sa Then, ang sunod nila nga layer, kanyang kulora gray, padungkod siya dito, ang polarity sa iyang rock. 
Sunod, kung diha mo na ang polarity, ang kanipong usa pa ito, terno sila. Then, kana, pareha sila. Ang sa may buot, pasabot, ano eh, sa ilang na-discover, naingon sila nga. Ang kanang nasa left, ang kanang nasa right, dungan dahil na sila gawas. Pareha man sila polarity. Dungan sila gawas, pero on, on separate ends lang, gikan sa tunga, diha, ni mid oceanic ridge. Nga na sila, lain-lain nga polarity. Anong may buwan man nila ang polarity nga nasa yuta? Kaya na may iron ang yuta. Kaya again, na may iron component nga naa sa yuta under in the mantle. Next evidence of seafloor spreading. Evidences from drilling samples. The final proof of seafloor spreading came from rock samples obtained by drilling into the ocean floor. Kaninga barko is the first drilling ship pang drill. It's called Glomar Challenger. It was built in 1968. It gathered soil samples. Ato sa ilam sa ato sa dagat, oceans, magdrig sila dito og hole. It sent drilling pipes through the water 6 kilometers deep to drill holes in the ocean floor. Samples from the sea floor will were brought up through the pipes and then the scientists determine the age of the rocks in the sample. How? They use carbon-14 dating. It is a type of dating, delay dating nga mag -uyab -uyab. carbon. Ilang gipangita sa ilang sample? Unsa gidaghanon sa carbon nga ang isotope element 14? O niya ilang may bawaan ang edad or the date carbon dating method? of that specific sample. So, they found out that the farther away from the ridge ang rock nga ilang nakuha, it is the older rock. Kung layo, gikan sa mid-oceanic ridge. And, the youngest rocks were always found near or in the center of the ridges. This only shows na indeed the sea floor is spreading. So these are the findings that support seafloor spreading. First, rocks at the young, are younger at the mid-ocean ridge and older if they are far from the mid-ocean ridge. Next, sediments are thin at the ridge. Sediments, kana na siya mga nag, na, uh, flow in from rivers, from upland, na mato sa dagat. Kay Newman ang yuta nga nasa ridge, so kinagamian siya gidaghanon sa sediments. Rocks at the ocean floor are younger than those at the continents. Or through, or through dating po, nabawaan nila nga, relatively younger ang mga yuta nga na ilaom sa ocean floor than the yuta in the uh, continental plates. Again, what is the cause of sea floor spreading? It is caused by convection currents driving the movement of the Earth's rigid tectonic plates in the planet's fluid molten magma. In places where convection currents rise up towards the crust surface, the tectonic plates move away from each other, known as the seafloor spreading. The hot magma then rises to the crust surface, and the cracks develop in the ocean floor, and the magma pushes up and out to form the mid-oceanic ridges. And then again, I will end my video with this video, short video of the convection current that happens in the mantle. It happens because hot rock rises, heated by the Earth's core. Near the surface, the rock spreads in two directions and goes sideways. It begins to lose heat. Eventually, the much cooler rock sinks back down. Through this spreading process, the Earth's crust is very slowly dragged apart. And it's this that ultimately causes the continents to move. Where the plates collide, the rock on the seafloor containing carbon from the dead plankton is carried deep into the Earth. As it descends, this layer of rock is heated, so the rock melts, releasing carbon dioxide. 
and gas is returned back into the atmosphere during an eruption. The remarkable cycle is complete.